Hello! So now we're looking at one of my favorite types of sake. I really love the bottle too. I mean these are such beautiful bottles. Delicious sake. Forgotten Japanese spirit. Alcohol 15 to 16 <laughs> percent. Going for general ranges here. Rice wine and then a giant warning. So <laughs> where other bottles give you all sorts of descriptions of flavors and everything else like that. Here we're just going for the basics. There's rice in here. It's got some alcohol and it's an actual cork rather than uh, screw caps which you see on many other sake. So let's see if we can get this out without whapping my cat in the head. Cause you know that's just what my cat is there for. Alright, so this is the downside of having a cork. And I will note that this is not a normal screw cap kind of cork. It is just like a <laughs> olive oil bottle kind of cork, which means that this doesn't really work with a cork puller. So we'll see if I can even get this out without having to call for assistance. All right, I'm back. I had to use a pair of pliers to pry it out of there. So if you run into trouble with this, try a pair of pliers. But I do now have it open. I'm gonna pour this into right over the cat. Cat is so helpful. We'll say it's worth the effort though. <laughs> that is a lovely, light, delicate flavor. Maybe a bit of nuttiness to it. Soft nuts like hazelnut. Very tasty. So I enjoy this immensely. <laughs> and it's worth the effort to get it open. Just know that it could be a bit of effort and then you might want a pair of pliers around to be able to get this open and if you have a cat <laughs> be sure to account for the cat this is, oops <laughs> and if you have a cat be sure to account for the cat assistance that the cat is likely to want to present to you so let me know if you have any questions about the forgotten japanese spirit 